I'm going to try and explain the phenomenon of the um, the lines here that you see. The black, the dark lines, but you don't see it in here. You don't see it here where it's white. This is a single tube camera that's being used to display this picture and where there's color in the picture, you're only seeing the color that's passing through the color filter that delivers those colors. And the other, the other uh, areas of the tube, of course, the colors aren't making it through the color filter, so they're black. So a single tube camera, when you're on a high resolution, this is a plasma screen. On a, on a tube or recorded onto tape, you really wouldn't see it because VHS and beta and even three quarter inch didn't have the resolution to display the individual. Uh, stripes from the, the Viticon or Saticon tube, but uh, you do see it on a good high resolution monitor when you pipe it right in. And that's what's seeing that. You only see it in the colored portion of the picture. You don't see it in the white portions because white is utilizing all three colors. So you're not seeing the space between them. That is just for reference. If I plug a single, I should do this, if I plug in a single chip CCD camera into a high resolution monitor like this right off of the imager you'll also see well let's do it so you can see what it looks like so here's a single CCD pickup and you don't see you don't have the color stripes in fact if you look along the edges of, of some bright colors you might be able to see aliasing slightly but this is not a super high resolution chip but that's a single CCD camera plugged in using the same, it's plugged in the same way, it's plugged in to the uh, video input from the video output, that's a single CCD. As you can see, huge improvements because a CCD doesn't use a vertical filter like the tubes did. A CCD is a series of mosaics and it's, it's typically using four colors. So you've got alternating green with red and blue so you don't get the same you can still see it if you look up here on the edge of the picture where the uh, you can still see the filter there you can see it it's that now it looks more like looking through a mosaic you see you can see the color you can see the you can see the the color images moving behind the color filter but it's nowhere near as bad now of course if i go into the digital zoom range now we're looking at less pixels and then you really see it on CCD when you go into the digital zoom you'll you'll see it but uh, vast improvement over the single tube camera just wanted to do a little quick one to show you guys that so when you when you're looking at when I've been using when I've been using this uh, tube camera for my uh, my display my locked off images for testing some of these old uh, video devices and you're seeing the vertical stripes, that is what the vertical stripes are. All single tube cameras will experience that phenomenon when you're looking at it on high resolution. This, is, this, this plasma screen here is not a high definition screen. This is a standard definition. It's an 852 by 480. So it'll do 800, and because it's a fixed count, there's 852 vertical registers and 480 horizontal registers. Okay, VHS would resolve about 240 vertical, equivalent of vertical pixels and 480 horizontal pixels. Beta did 260 to 280, three quarter inch did 330. Because they were relatively low resolution devices, the color stripe filter on the single tube cameras wasn't that noticeable but plug them into a digital recorder like I did when I did the little comparison and the, the picture falls apart because the digital tape just like the digital panel has enough resolution that it can actually see the color stripe filter behind the or in front of the target when you're looking at white you don't see it because you've got equal output from making it through all three colors but if you're looking at a color image the single colors are colors that are made up of not total white you'll actually see the filter because um, filters that will block wavelengths of light that are not part of that color spectrum will show up as a black 
pixel or black portion on the color matrix filter on the color uh, separation filter that's where three tube cameras shined but as you saw from my last video when I was looking at a three tube camera when I was looking at uh, some video that was shot on a three tube camera uh, they were prone to getting out of alignment if they were banged and jostled in the field so they were really sensitive to uh, being bumped around and well the three chip camera solved that problem you had the resolution and you had the color fidelity but it's kind of a moot point now because with the megapixel sensors such as on this uh, 4k camera we're up to much higher resolution than uh, than any of those two base cameras uh, had anyway